Hi, I'm Jerry Fleming, and I'm working with the Grand River Dam Authority to implement the program Guard the Grand. And I'm here today with some helpers to help um, talk about non-point source pollution. If you've watched any of our workshops, we've talked a lot about what is a watershed and and stormwater runoff, and this is just a great tool to help you visualize what's happening in your watershed um, as we do things on the land. So I'm gonna start with uh, little Miss Mia here, and I'm gonna give her some uh, fertilizer. And Mia, if you were a farmer, would you fertilize your field? So you wanna put some fertilizer on the field? Great. And if you were a golf course owner, would you put some fertilizer on the field or a homeowner? You might put some fertilizer around your house. Good job. Okay. Now, Carson, have you ever driven a car? Actually, I have. All right. Did you wreck it? Uh, no. Okay, good. But, you know, sometimes cars leak oil, right? Sometimes maybe they do have an accident and they leak antifreeze on the ground or something. So um, let's pour a little oil and a little bit of antifreeze on the road. I'd have to, there you go. And we got a parking, big old parking lot over here, so we might want to, okay, because we got lots of cars over there. That's a resort. Mm -hmm. All right. Mallory, do you have a dog? Yeah? Um, would a farmer have some cows? Yeah? And what do dogs and cows do sometimes? Mm. Poop. <laughs> poop, right? So let's get a little poop on. So this is our house and maybe our dog pooped in our yard. So pour a little poop there. Not too much. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a lot. And then come over here on our farm. And let's get a little, there we go. Okay. All right. Now, um, we also might have some pests, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if we're a farmer, right? Mm -hmm. So we might want to put some pesticides down or if we have a dog, we might want to put some tick stuff down to keep the ticks away. So Carson, why don't you put some um, the tree. pesticide down for us? The tree. It's okay. <laughs> might have to squeeze a little bit. There you go. Kind of hard to reach up there here. Yeah. Little pesticide on our farm. Well, there we go. And our resort and our golf course might want to put some pesticides on too. There they we put, go. They put dogs on okay. There. Now let's see, Mia. Um, all of these houses and buildings all needed to be painted at one time, didn't they? So if they washed their paintbrushes out on the on the driveway, then there might be some paint there, right? So let's put a little paint out. Okay, and maybe we painted our boat, so let's a little bit put a little paint by our marina. Okay, all right. Now Mallory, we've got some construction work going on here. Our farmer plowed the fields, right? So what do you think this brown represents? Maybe some dirt? Yeah. So why don't you sprinkle a little bit of dirt up here for us? A little bit on our construction site. A little bit more. There you go. And then let's bring it over here and let's put a little bit on our farm. So put a little dirt on our farm. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Now, what do you think is going to happen to all that stuff that we put on the land? It's, Where's it going to go? Into our lakes, into, into our sewers, sewers, into our, like, land and everything. Really? 
So should we check it and see? Should we have a little rainstorm and see what happens to all that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Sorry. <laughs> Happening. What is happening? It's going into the water. A little bit of it's going into our lake, right? Yeah. Now, something I want you to notice over here on our farm is I have a sponge there, don't I? Yeah. What's happening to the stuff that's going into that sponge area? Is it's, it coming back out? No, it's going in the sponge. Because yeah. Huh? It just turns into mud. Basically. Right. It's like a wetland. And so a wetland helps filter that water out. And then over here, if I, the water's going to flow into a storage tank. So all the stormwater runoff from this parking lot's going to get stored there and not get released into the lake. And eventually it'll maybe evaporate or it'll let out more slowly. What's happening to our dog poop? It's going into the lake. It's going into the storm drain and into the lake, right? Yeah. So what do you think dog poop does in the lake? It puts pollution in it. It puts pollution in. Maybe it carries some bacteria. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it carries some nutrient. Like It's like a fertilizer when it's in the water. And do you know what a fertilizer does? It kills things. No. If you put fertilizer on your grass, what do you think it's going to do? It's going to make it grow. It's going to make it grow. So what do you think happens when you put fertilizer in the water where there's some algae? Do you uh, think the it... The algae's going to grow. The algae's going to grow, right? And your water's going to turn a funky color, right? It's maybe, maybe going to turn green. Sometimes it'll turn brown. Um, but we're going to have some dirty water. The tree. Our tree fell down. Um, and our sediment is going to end up in the lake as well. And what happens when we get a lot of dirt in the lake? The less water you're going to get to have in the lake? Yeah, yeah because the, the mud gets sucked it all up. Yeah. So the mud kind of sucks it all up or fills it in, and, and the water's got to go somewhere else. It can't stay in the deepest part of the lake anymore because it's not that deep. So that's called sedimentation, and we're getting too much sediment in the lake. Who caused all this pollution? Us. We all did, right? We all put a little something on there, right? Mm -hmm. So who do you think needs to be the ones that clean it up? All of us. All of us, right? And how can we do that? Are there some things that we could do maybe? Yeah? So, for example, our farmer could maybe plant some vegetation or he could put a little berm around his farm and maybe not plow that part and that berm's going to help hold the pollution in place here. This is a wetland. Maybe we encourage that our, we leave our wetlands alone and let them do their job, which is they filter out pollution. So if I pick this up, it's yellow now, but look at the bottom. It's really green. Yeah, so it, it captured some pollution for us, didn't it? So they play an important role. But if we don't have pollution, it comes in the, in the water. If we don't have a, a wetland or something else, it's going to come in the water. Exactly right. Now, what about our house with a septic tank here? So when, when, when they go to the bathroom in their house, instead of going to a wastewater treatment plant, it goes into our septic tank. And hopefully it's going to... It's going in. It's going to go in there and it's going to stay there. And it's going to filter into the ground and the ground's going to help kind of clean it up. Yeah. But if our septic tank isn't working, mm -hmm. you, it just goes it right like, you, if you flush it, it won't work and it, it, can't, it can't go where it's supposed to be. Exactly. And so what might happen to it? It might get stinky. It might get stinky and maybe it goes in the lake. Yeah. Yeah. So we have so, to keep it clean. What about our cars? Uh-huh. We should help our cars by putting them somewhere safe. Well, that and should we fix any oil leaks that we have? Yes. Yeah? So that we're not leaking oil? There's oil leaks all over the driveway. And right. And what happens when it rains? It goes in there. But what happens if it rains right here? It's not going in there, right? It goes in the lake. It's going in our storm drain and going down into the lake. So we can clean up our cars, right? What about our fertilizers and pesticides? Can we still use those? What do we want to do? If, I'm, if I have a bag of fertilizer, what am I going to do? 
Read. Maybe I'm going to read the instructions, right? I'm going to read the instructions and I'm only going to put down what I need. The other thing I might do is go get my soil tested and say, well, gosh, I didn't know this, but I don't need any phosphorus fertilizer. I only need some nitrogen. So yeah. I'm going to only put yeah. down what I use or what I need, right? Fix our cars. When we paint something, wash the paintbrush out in our sink and, or the grass instead of our, lawn, instead of our driveways. Um, sure, or concrete. If you recognize that that the cars is leaking, you should go to the um, construction place so they can fix your car. Exactly. What about our construction site? They've got all this dirt moved around. Do you think that they should have to put up some kind of protection? Yes. Uh huh. So maybe there's some fencing, silt fence they could put up that will help stop the erosion coming. Or they could even take this same berm and build some kind of a berm to help hold the pollution on site. There's a tube right here over here too. So that's a good point, Mia. So we have this building here with a tube coming out of it. Now if I put water on that, where does it come? It comes into the lake. It comes into the lake. So can I point to the source of, if that had some pollution on it, let's say we had a little bit of pollution in it? It's going to get really dirty. Can I point to where the pollution came from right there? Right, so that's called a point source pollution. Do you know what all the rest of this is called? An can environment? I, well, it is an environment, but can I point to the specific source of the pollution? What? Um, if it rains really bad, the, the trees can fall down and hit your houses and the houses can knock down. There is that too. That could happen. That's kind of what happened to our tree here, wasn't it? Yep. But if if... If I have some pollution all over the place from a bunch of different cars, can I say it was your car or your car that caused it? No, it could be all of our cars. It could be all of our cars. It could be all of our, but in our full area. Exactly. It could be everything that we do. It could be a tractor right. and another tractor. And that's called non-point source pollution because we don't know exactly where the point source is. But our plant over here, they have a special permit and they have to treat the water that comes out of there to a certain standard before they are allowed to discharge it into the lake. But all this other stuff, is it getting treated before it gets to the lake? Yes. Is it? No. No. It's just going right it's in. It's just right going in. right into the lake, isn't it? And if you want to fish, you have to go on the boats, but if the boats, so the boat's going to get all dirty. Right. And even if it's a new boat. Mm-hmm. That's right. So any other questions about this? Okay, so what are some of the things that you learned today? Um, that to keep your environment safe and, and don't, don't, don't let your cars leak. Mm -hmm. Don't let your cars leak and, and then have that. Leave sleep. your wetlands? Uh-huh. Okay, what else? Anything else? you got to keep the floors clean and the, save the river. Thank you for watching and we look forward to you being... Guardian of the Grand.